we still in this country, 300,000 unborn children are slaughtered every year in the United States of America. And it was recently brought to my attention that we, uh, there are only two other countries who have laws in many states in the U.S. A woman can abort her unborn baby right up until the time of birth. The only two other countries who permit that are China and North Korea. And we had some bishops in the U.S. who were so concerned about that, they, they wanted uh, to, to sign a letter that said that any politician who endorsed this, who was still uh, against life, could not receive the Eucharist. It seemed like a, a logical and reasonable request to make of a, a priest, and yet that was all stifled. What is your response? Should President Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi, whom recently just met with the Holy Father, should, should someone like that who promotes uh, late-term abortions all the way up until birth, should they be able to receive the Eucharist? Never. It's impossible. It's against the meaning of Holy Eucharist itself. It's against the meaning of being Catholic. It's uh, and not only late-term abortion, any abortion, when someone publicly supports the killing of an innocent child, an unborn child, independently which age right. uh, the unborn has. From conception. Yes, is a, a horrible crime. Yes. That cries to heaven. And when someone supports this, he is declaring themselves against, he is committing a grave sin because he is supporting murder. And he can, at, at no, reason, uh, no circumstances, uh, be uh, admitted to Holy Communion uh, until he repents and publicly retracts. And he has to publicly to retract and to repent. And and this against Holy Communion, because Holy Communion, what, what does means Holy Communion? <clears throat> Eucharistic Communion means this is the, um, the form of the greatest union with the faith and the life of the Church and with God himself. So when I receive Jesus Christ in Holy Communion, I'm demonstrating communion means union, mm -hmm. but first with Christ and with his will. And Jesus Christ said, who observes my commandments is who loves me. So when you do not observe the commandment of God, in this case, not to kill innocent uh, innocents, you are not loving God, and you are not in union with God. But you are going to Holy Communion and displaying uh, before all, that you are in the closest union with, with God, because Holy Communion mm. is the closest possible union with God here on earth, the sacramental reception of his body and blood, his soul, his divinity <coughs> in the Holy Communion. Mm. This is, <coughs> and <coughs> in the same time, <coughs> it is the, the the greatest uh, expression of the union with the entire church. Mm. And so, but the, the church always rejects it and rejects and will reject categorically abortion. Yes. Or let us say other immoralities public like mm. the, uh, the homosexual agenda or the so-called uh, marriages, uh, same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. The church yes. rejected and will reject always this, because against the will of God, the revealed will of God, <laughs> and against the, the happiness of the, of the people themselves, of, the, of those persons. So, but in this case, these politicians, when they openly promote abortion or same-sex marriages, they are, they are not in union with the teaching of the Church. And so how can they go to communion and say we are in full communion 
with the teaching, with, with the church, which implies the communion with the teaching of the church. Mm -hmm. This is a lie. So to give communion to such politicians is a performance of an, an enormous lie. Mm -hmm. And they are a heaping. fake, a fake, yeah. and at the same time, it is a sacrilegious. It's an offense to God, but because it's the most holy which we have, the Holy Communion, and we are desecrating this with this fake performance during Holy Communion, mm -hmm. and by this same, we are saying, those who give Holy Communion, the priests or the bishops, allowing them, okay, we are. We are approving your style, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. by, by this, we are implicitly yeah. approving right. their lifestyle and saying, "Okay, you can continue yes. to make this." This is, in any case, anti-pastoral. It is an anti-witness against uh, the, the, the love, the, the faith of the church. It is a performance. It is a of a really desecration of the most holy which we have, and. It is also a greatest act of uncharity to these politicians themselves because mm -hmm. they are committing sac sacrilege mm. and they are offending God by uh, contradicting his will and then receiving the Holy mm. Communion. In this case, as St. Paul says, they are eating their judgment. Yes. And we are allowing them to eat, to eat their own judgment, mm -hmm. these priests and bishops. So we are harming their eternal salvation. And this is non-charitable. This is an act of <clears throat> against the love of neighbor. Mm -hmm. So if I will, and every priest in this case, when this is known publicly, he must, charitable of course, uh, refuse to give them Holy Communion and say, I do this because I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to harm your soul. And so my rejection to not give you Holy Communion is an expression of my love for your soul. And when you will die once, you will remember this and you will be grateful to me that I spared you mm -hmm. so many grave sins and be thankful at least you have not accumulated other grave sins. You have already accumulated so many sins in your life, contradicting the will of God, supporting the mass murder of innocent children. Mm -hmm. But and then, at least I, uh, you could, uh, you have not accumulated other sins, other horrible sins, the sacrilegious reception of Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. So we have to see this in the light of the eternity also. Mm -hmm. And I repeat, uh, these politicians should never receive Holy Communion for the sake of the salvation also of their own soul. Mm -hmm.